So the reason I started working on the self-portraits, I remember the first time I went on the other side of the camera, was actually a situation like this where I had a beautiful scene, the background was wonderful, but I could not find a foreground that could compete with it. So initially when I started doing that, it was to solve, um, sort of solve compositional issues. And, uh, and then I started using it to convey sense of scale a little bit more. And sometimes I used, I used uh, sometimes I used it to uh, maybe convey a sense of vulnerability. The fact that I use the human element a lot, I think is a big part of why people have had such a strong response to the images because they can easily picture themselves as part of the image. Sometimes you envision some images and you go out there and finally you're able to execute something that you've been dreaming of doing for a long time. The more I shoot and the more I teach, the more I encourage people to walk around and allow time for immersion so that you feel like, yeah, you're in tune with the place, you got a good feel for the lay of the land where everything is. Try to encourage to always put the experience first because you always win if you always go home with an experience. I think what I love the most about this time of year in the return of winter is, is how you notice suddenly the winter um, brings back the silence. There's always little noises in the summer, whether it's a little, the leaves rustling or, or a little bit of a trickle somewhere, but all that stuff comes to a standstill in the winter. And it's just so noticeable those, during those first few days after the, big, the first big snowfall. You can see all the detail in that mountain across the way there. It took me a while to figure out what it was that drove me to go out there and shoot. Eventually I just figured out it's, I think it's just the kid in me. No doubt a big reason why I love photography is that it keeps me in tune with, with that, that curiosity that that I had a long time ago and that is so easily, um, easily lost. I think the more that you shoot, the more that you start looking for the extraordinary out there. The fact that the images drive people out there to experience the wilderness, I think is just an, it's a, it's a convenient and great byproduct of what I do. I think that the images make people dream a little bit. Eventually, I think when you realize that you can, you can actually tell a story through an image and convey a certain emotion through an image, suddenly you can just take your um, take your art to the next level that way. For me, it's always about getting creative and having fun and, and just maintaining that relationship with the wilderness and keeping it alive. <laughs>